a storage unit clean out here and I bought a unit. Well, I bought two units, so stay tuned for the second unit, but I'm gonna clean out the first unit here right now. Uh, I paid 30, bu paid 20 bucks for this unit. Uh, so we'll see how good it is. I know there wasn't really a whole lot in it, but people love these storage unit videos, so I want to make one here, and it's always a fun mystery. If you're ever curious about these units, ever see them on TV, whatever it might be, this one is one of the cheaper units, but uh, we'll see what kind of mystery this has, what kind of treasure is inside, and bought an abandoned storage unit, $20 at auction. Let's get into it and see what we found. Let's do it. Into the dungeon we go. Um, I think this is where I bought the unit. So I know I had to walk upstairs, which decreases the value. Oh, jeez. So I got a couple keys here, because I know I bought, like I said, two units. Of course, wow, this key is a little messed up. But yeah, that thing ain't straight at all. It's gotta be this. There we go, wow, that was a 20 bucks. Let's see what's inside here. Oh yeah, it's one of those doors also. The mystery, the great mystery of $20. This freaking door doesn't keep open. Well, that's as far as we go. All right, well, this is what we got, $20. See what's in these boxes and bins and Whatever. All right. So in the top drawer here, if we're working with just socks, it feels very slippery. I don't know if I really trust that. Uh, daily face wash. All right. Cosmetics in the top drawer. I see in this. Cardboard box also. It's uh, got some mason jars or something. My camera crew is taking a break today. So I don't have a camera crew. Got some reproduction milk. I guess it might be a, like a piggy bank kind of thing. Anyway, probably about a dollar, two dollars in glassware. And then the bottom one. What do we got in here? We got a, ooh, we got a little purse here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Start off, we have a ring right on top. Now we play the guessing game of what is it? SP pre, oh, I'm like looking at like a crazy person. 2019, little ring. I don't think it's gold or silver or anything like that. We have a whole bunch of Knoble cards. Do you think these are still good? For people who have been like in this area, do you think these are still good? Knoble's is an amusement park and it's kind of a cool amusement park if you've ever been there. Not seeing anything else in here. I'm going to put this in my pocket so I don't lose this. A nice little ring. I don't know what kind of ring it is. I don't know if it's a... It says high on it, so it must be a high school ring. Yes, it is. It's a Wyoming Valley High School. So it's kind of local here. I'll put it in my pocket. So out of that, we got some Neutrogena. This looks like underwear or something. Yeah, just underwear. All right. So this will go right down the steps but we start off with a good high school ring. Now there are people who collect those high school rings. I don't know about 2000, 2019 might be a little new, but we got some mystery boxes. What do you think is in here? Food, clothes. I do think it's interesting how things are just thrown in here, which usually if you store your own stuff, you don't throw just puzzle pieces everywhere. I was about to say, don't tell me there's a lock on this because then we're not getting in this video. See what's in here. Clothes. This thing has some weight.
Ooh, Michael Kors perfume. Uh, out of the last storage unit I bought. So last storage unit or two storage units ago? Yeah, wow, this thing looks like it's full. That looks full. Wow. I don't know what this costs, but the last storage unit I bought, I sold one thing out of there. One perfume bottle. What was that? I think it was Chanel. $45 for a vintage thing. Probably a tenth of the size of this. I thought it said Avon on the bottom. I was about to be real salty there, but... 1.7 Michael Kors perfume, brand new in the box. Gotta be worth at least 20 bucks. Gotta be worth at least 20 bucks. I do have a handful of DVDs. Cute DVDs. Another box here says birthday wishes. Feels like there's some stuff in there. This stuff stinks. A purse. I don't know how I didn't see that. Put that aside. And then I know that everything in here is pretty much empty. That's about it. All right. That's an awesome, awesome bin. This thing is sweet. Look at this thing. It's like a locker box bin. And as a handle, you know this thing was not five dollars at Walmart. Take a quick look at these things. I don't know. Wow, that is strong. It's sealed, but I don't know what it is. Cucumber melon. Yeah, it smells exactly like cucumbers and melon. Wow, why is it so strong? Use only in a well candle lit or you will... Maybe it's a candle. I think it's strong. Seals in this box. A little mystery box. How do you guys like these storage units? Do you like them? Drop a comment down below. I love making these videos. They seem to be a lot of fun. A lot of people seem to enjoy them. Um, they are a little bit of work. This one's going to be a small unit, so it's not too crazy. The next one's a little bit bigger. Um, it might be a little bit bigger. Uh, it might be a lot bigger. It's probably a 5x8 or 10, and it's literally this entire thing is just packed all the way to the wall. So if you're new around here, you like these storage units, you like seeing what's inside. They are bought, they are legit. They are from abandoned storage units. They're not staged in any way. As a whole makeup kit. Workshop, maybe it's for like schooling. I mean, I don't know, like maybe some of these sprays are worth some money. I'm giving you guys the pleasurement of looking at this, but I have no idea what I'm looking at, so we're going to go ahead and probably close this. Um, but yeah, make sure you are subscribed, because I will be posting more of these and doing more of these besides just this one and the next one. So make sure to subscribe down below. What can be in here? Bags, purses, who knows? Wow, this thing's freaking heavy. What is this? Purses, maybe? A purse? Freaking large purse, that thing is massive. What is in here? Otter box, iPhone accessories, and tongs. I heard, well, this one's not even in there. Oh, it's the blue thing that was in there. There's an iPhone case. iPhone. I, think, I don't think it's in there. It's freaking heavy. empty. I heard uh, you can't sell otter boxes on eBay. It's freaking Tom's nothing else in there. Exciting. I heard they sell well, but you can't sell them on eBay. You'll get a strike. Curious what's in this. We have a brand new blanket down there. I don't know what's in here. This thing freaking lays like a brick. It's one heck of a purse. Uh oh, well, that's smashed. What is this? Oh, sounds like it's full of money. 
full of freaking pennies and a credit card and some dimes and a couple keys and I don't see any dollar bills in there no dollar bills all right Breaking me a new toothbrush. It's like cosmetic stuff. It's what this whole thing seems to be is just cosmetics. Now I will go home and empty out every single thing and then I definitely will sell this bag because although it looks like it's not a name brand and it's not my style, this is definitely a very nice bag. Very nice. Found money in storage unit. I should clickbait my video to get a million views. Found money in storage unit piles of money and just be like a pile of pennies yep not this one maybe next one all right all right what can possibly be in the hmm. I don't know if they expect me to pick up all these puzzle pieces but I think I have to More money. Probably more cosmetics. And another iPhone case. I do have a couple shoes. I'll probably, this looks like it's garbage, garbage. I do have a couple shoes or boots, I should say. Those aren't. No. Thought for a second they were Doc Barnes. A couple oddball items in here, which are, that's probably garbage. Gotta go through every purse once I get home. Seems like a lot of paperwork, but there's never ever any money. Which seems about right. Ah, oh, it's one of those. It's like a, a box but when you look at it it makes the illusion that there is literally just nothing but a circle right in the middle but in reality because of the way they use magnets or mirrors it's actually not what it looks like interesting i don't know what do all these sharpies that might be nope that might be garbage and if i get hungry i can smack a crunch in there all right, what's that? Got some knockoff Uggs. Those will sell, just not in the middle of summer. So in terms of 20 bucks, there's really not that much garbage. I'm gonna probably have two garbage cans out of this whole unit. Um, most likely two garbage cans, which isn't an issue. There is a toaster oven in here, as well as a hat, old champion looking hat, this is new. It's garbage. Alright, so we'll pack this up. There's a handful of housewares, but like I said, you don't like this, you're going to end up with a decent amount of garbage you're going to have. Usually when you buy these cheap units that kind of look like cleanouts, you're gonna have a fair share of garbage, but you're gonna have a fair share of, I call them flea market items, dollar to five dollar items. And you're usually gonna find like two to three decent items, but you're gonna have to go through every single box and every single bag. Uh, you're not gonna have boxes upon boxes of good eBay quality items, but you're really never gonna lose money with these smaller units. And it's cheaper and expensive units. And you know what? If this is your size, you save yourself 20 or 30 bucks by going to the store. This, unfortunately, is not my size or my style. Uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. I guess this crock pot isn't gonna be sold. Sell it by the piece. What the heck are these things? 
Gosh darn it. Gotta love it. The joys of storage units. Oh, there's my glove. We're looking for that. All right, so we're down to two boxes. I picked up all the stupid puzzle pieces, and then, of course, crock pot got smashed. Of course, go figure. Any gold bars? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> Is this like a top to a table? It is. No, it's a mosaic thing. Oh. oh it looks heavy. Oh, it's freaking heavy. Freaking heavy is right. I'll tell you what. It's the nicest thing is AC in here, but it's not really not really as strong as I thought it'd be. Today is also the last day of the heat wave. Tomorrow it's supposed to be colder, of course. By the time this video comes out, I'll probably be wearing a sweatshirt. But today managed to be the last day of the heat wave. Funny how that, that works out. Oh, the garbage bag. Oh, so it's not easy. Uh, Boom box. See if that works. <laughs> Those guys buy all the storage units. They bought, I think, uh, today they bought probably about 14 or so. I, it's amazing because I saw them probably a year ago, and it was their first unit, and they're like, oh, if we buy more than, you know, whatever, can we get more 72 hours? I can't remember what they said, but they ended up buying like 15 or 20 that first day. Usually the new guy who buys 15 or 20 never comes back. The one thing with these storage units, got a nice little bird cage and some hangers. One thing with these storage units is you have to take everything. You can't leave any garbage, you can't leave mattresses. Everything has to come out as you unit. So if you like it, you don't like it, it doesn't matter. It's gotta come out. Otherwise, you're not coming back. What's in this box? All right, I'm not sure what's in this plastic bag. Oh, I see Nintendo things. Oh, a little bit, some of it. Got Hannah Montana. Maybe I saw some more. Yeah, there's some more games in here. That's not games. We have My Sims Kingdom. Sims 2 Pets. Ham Montana. Sims Case. Case has some weight. Ah, custom jewelry. So I'll have to sit down and see if there's any gold in there. I don't see any that looks gold at resemblance. Custom jewelry. There might be a DS somewhere in this box. I'm not sure. It looks like the rest of it is the gerbil cage. What the heck is this? Some figurines I'll probably sell for a couple dollars. This is where all the money is. This is one heck of a money pouch. Oh, it's for a funeral home. Oh, well, now I feel awful. And they have puzzle pieces inside here, so I don't feel so bad. All right. But it looks like most of this is actually, so you can see, that's all part of the gerbil cage. And we have some sort of wall decoration right here. It's a clock. No, it's a cabinet to put little smalls in. So a handful of 
flea market items there. I don't expect the grains to be worth much. DS is kind of difficult to sell, but that will be passed on. I am. I need water. I'm freaking gassed. All right, down to the <laughs> knickknacks and stand. That's what's marked. Looks like it's taped, which means it probably was never untaped. Untaped. What a great word. Knickknacks. This ain't no knickknacks. It's a freaking. What the heck? Looks like it was never used. Ah, the knickknacks are below. Ah, those kind of knickknacks. Well, although it might seem kind of fun to take out all these tubes, I will go ahead and take out a couple. Everything's wrapped. It says your son and it has a person's name and then it says made in China below it. So I don't know where, I don't know how that's possible, but maybe it is. Now, looks like a lot of exactly what it said, make next. I won't go through everything in here, um, but I would say this, if you guys are new around here, I do make other videos. I say this pretty much every time I make these storage unit videos. Make sure you are subscribed because I will go through probably the rest of this box in a future date. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do it all in one video. So make sure you are subscribed and uh, definitely check out my other contents besides just the straight old storage auction videos because I do go through these in my daily vlogs, especially as uh, we get closer and closer to the winter months. There weren't, weren't any clothes in the Some horses. And more horse stuff. This is a die cast miniature pencil sharpener of a horse. It's a bear. So lots and lots of figurines in here. I will have to take out this shelving unit and then dive down and see exactly what's in the rest of this. Wow, that was a decent uh, decent buy here for $20. Oh man, I am freaking shot and sweating. And I don't think I brought a set of clean clothes, but we did all right here for 20 bucks. These smaller units sometimes are really hit or miss with the quality of merchandise, but we did find a handful of good items. That definitely, this box is probably twenty dollars worth of figurines. Throw that on top. This is my lock. See if there's anything else in here. Grab. Grab this. I'll grab that. That is theirs. That stays. Don't like that. Uh, how'd I do that? And third is on the cart, and we will be officially done. Alrighty, all loaded up for today. That wraps up another wonderful treasure hunt. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of storage unit cleanouts, definitely smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Like I said, I still have one more unit here to clean out. Uh, it is currently cooking on this block top. But I'm going to go down there and clean out this unit, and then it's on the way home. But that signs off here for today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time for the next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.